Okay, let's sample it back. Uh, geez, it was only about 10, 15 minutes ago before my last stream. Let me grab my lucky hat. Let me tell okay, you what, this has been a hard it fight. Back. Uh, geez, so last episode, we had taken Rennell year. Island, we Grandma had retreated our forces and taken over Santa Cruz Islands, built a small airfield on Rennell Island. Currently engaged with enemy air power over fight. Guadalcanal, where they have a level so one airfield episode, able to provide air cover for them. Island, we we currently have a task force headed back home. We have a Currently invasion force. This is a Marines. We are loaded up with about 7,500 troops, 2,000 supplies. We're going to run them in at night off Lunga Point, and they're, instead of being supported by carriers, they're being supported by about a, a surface action group consisting of the uh, centered around the South Coast. So let's go ahead and I want to run them in at night and they're instead of being supported by and continue to dominate the airspace or this airfield. Surface action consisting of So let's go ahead. We got a wildcat encounter. So go ahead and resolve. And I want to run them in at night and continue to dominate the airspace or this airfield. So let's go ahead. We got a wildcat. Interference going on. There we go. All right, our wildcats. I wish for them to warm up. Echelon left, and you guys form up. Actually, I want you to form up. Echelon left. I want you to form echelon right. And we're just looking for Japanese aircraft. So let's go ahead and form all you guys up into a uh, an echelon right formation. And then let's have you head towards Lunga Point. Let's see if we spot Japanese zeros. No sighting. Got 156 nautical miles to dominate the airspace. Rennell Island is ready to launch aircraft. We have no more Wildcats. Alright, looks like we got our dogfight coming back. these Japanese zeros. Let's see if we can find ourselves a dogfight. We got a time accelerated. Any Japanese fighters anywhere? Go ahead and retreat. Let's ignore those contacts. B 17 bombers are on their way. Okay, we're currently under, the relief force is currently under air observation, possibly by Japanese submarines. So what I want to do is, uh, you know, let's keep these bombers. More of that contact. More of that contact. B-17s are returning to base. Mm -hmm. 
Enemy fleet sighted. Oh, shite. Let's get into this. Oh, shit. Japanese transports. Periscope depth, upscope. We have a force of one, two, three, four, five, six Japanese transports headed down the slot, escorted by several destroyers. Left full rudder. Want to hit those transports? What's my torpedo load looking like? We got full spread of torpedoes. Go ahead and target him. Actually, let's see. Target that transport. Japanese in two column. Enemy fleet. Hitting left full rudder. Make revolutions for five knots. Side of them. There they are. 5,500 yards. Rudders amidships. Take her up to seven knots. A full rudder. Center rudder, 4,600 yards, center rudder. Down scope. Enemy is at 3,700 yards. What's her firing solution? Ready to fire torpedo, up scope. Target. Nippon Maru. Prepare fire a spread of three torpedoes. Two degree spread. Go ahead and get that firing solution. That is clearly a... on Maru, isn't it? That's a tanker. These tankers? Shit, they are tankers. Enemy is really going to build up this base. We need to torpedo these guys. 94% fire. Hell. Enemy float plane right above me. Why are you not firing your torpedoes? Am I out of torpedoes? Is this a mistake? There we 
go. Torpedoes away. Target. Prepare to fire a spread of three torpedoes, and we're gonna take her we'll take her down. Seventy percent firing solution. Identify second target as a Nippon Maru. It is not a Gato. It is a Nippon Maru. How can I redesignate that ship as a Nippon Maru? Percent firing solution, fire torpedoes. Mm. Torpedoes away. Periscope down, dive, left full rudder. Revolutions for five knots. Those torpedoes are missing. Shit. And they yet hit that transport here. This may hit. Come on, baby. Hit. Got a hit. Enemy is breaking his formation apart. Let's go ahead and hit retreat. These torpedoes are going to miss, but they may. He's turning. The enemy fleet is turning away. These may yet hit this uh, Nagara class cruiser here. Dud. Dud. Dud! Three dud torpedoes! What is that bullshit? Damn! Ugh. Grinding can leave in two minutes. Center rudder. Making revolutions for five knots. Course two two two. Enemies trying to ping. We do have an enemy destroyer approaching. They've got me. Left full rudder. Take us down to three knots. Rigged for ultra silent. Leave in 60 seconds. How's this uh, Nippon Maru doing? She's burning. Enemy fleet is scattered. Japanese destroyer is coming in. Alright boys, Grunion has been doing well this whole time, I hope I don't lose her. She 
He's currently under attack by two Japanese destroyers, and I can end this in 20 seconds. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to see uh, what happens. destroyer is about to pass over me rudders amidships full speed nine knots where is he he's got me there he is enemy destroyer spotted Making revolutions for nine knots. Hopefully we'll get away from this depth charge attack. He's lost contact. He's not dropping any depth charges so far as I can tell. We can leave this engagement. We got a heavily lead. Damn. All right. So we've got one, two, three transports, three oilers, two destroyers, two light cruisers. It's now daylight. Let's go ahead and fly some air cover over Henderson Field. Relief force is under aerial observation. No enemy rising to meet our wildcats that are flying over Guadalcanal. Enemy sub spotted. and attack enemy submarine. There's a Japanese sub. You can see his float plane hangar there. This is one that's been shadowing my relief force. Let's see if my bombers can knock out this uh, Japanese sub. Speed is uh, 200 knots. Enemy sub spotted. The enemy is about to dive. Here's my bombers. There he goes, he's going under. Bombs away. got damage on him, that's good. He's a little bit damaged. Okay, we'll leave in 30 seconds. Good job by my B-17s.
It's like he's sinking. Hell, he might get the crush depth before too long. He's sinking. Look at that. He tried to do emergency blow. And... He may be coming back to the surface after that emergency blow. Yep, he is. Bastard. Critical damage on that sub, though. Um, I wonder if I can launch... I can't launch an aircraft for another 15 minutes. Alright, what I want to do is launch uh, an Avenger Strike with... Um, rockets so they're basically flying an ASW patrol ahead of my fleet one of these contacts all right halt we have this fleet a Dale which I'm going to release and then I am going to I've got 15 points In which case I can launch a, or excuse me, buy an oiler. And let's merge him. Okay, I want him loaded with 100 fuel. And then I want you loaded with engineers. Okay, great. All right, let's keep send, sending engineers to Rennell Island and build that build that uh, base up. The enemy fleet here now. Thirteen hundred men. It's still daylight. I can go ahead and launch a sortie of four wildcats. And uh, let's pummel, let's uh, dominate the airspace. There we go. We got an encounter. Our wildcats are now engaging with Japanese zeros. There is an enemy fleet here. What do we got? Enemy transports. Shit. This is a hell of... We got Tokyo Express inbound to Guadalcanal. That's that same squadron. Our enemy fleet. But what I want to be able to do is find these zeros. Okay, we can go ahead and leave the combat zone. Okay, we got another uh, enemy aircraft spotted by the Wildcats. 
Probably an enemy fleet down here. Let's fly around a little bit, see if the zeros rise up to meet us. Got an encounter again. Zeros are making intermittent contact with enemy over uh, just north of Lunga Point. What's my altitude? 3,000 feet. Alright, our fleet is getting close. Grouper has made contact. She is well northwest to Savo Island. Periscope up. It's getting to be dusk. see anything. Okay, enemy fleet. Enemy transports are headed back out to sea, so they have probably dropped off their infantry. Can't leave for another... It's 4,800 yards. Go so, revolutions for three knots, left full rudder. Center rudder. Range 4,800 yards. Let's do this. We're going to launch a nice big spread. Half torpedo tubes. Let's do a 6% spread. Fire. Okay, bombardment fleet is approaching. Enemy subs spotted. Enemy subs spotted off, uh, one submarine spotted off Santa Cruz Island. Enemy fleet, two heavy cruisers, two destroyers. See if we can squeeze some shots off on this. Let's save scum. There they are again. Left full rudder. Center. All right. Up scope. This is an enemy battle fleet right here. There are no transports in this deal. So let's go ahead and squeeze off some torpedoes. Yes. solution at 34%. Identify cruiser as, I don't know what the heck that is. Man, we're awfully close to these Japanese, to this Japanese fleet. They're 3,000 yards. 
Come on, get that firing solution up. Identify Japanese cruiser as... what turrets he's got. I don't know what kind of ship that is. It looks like that's a Takeo. That's my firing solution. 40%? What the hell? Alright, get ready to fire torpedoes anyways. He does away. Keep a good firing solution on him. Prepare to fire the next round of torpedoes. And torpedoes away. Down scope, dive, right full rudder. Yeah, these are gonna fall behind again. I keep firing behind the behind the target. I don't understand. right across his bow. About this spread. It's going to fall behind him. Just bad torpedo run grouper. Okay, bad torpedo spread. Missed all my targets. Six in the morning. All right, so we have to time this for the evening. In 12 hours, it will be eight o'clock in the evening. Marines are heavily outnumbered. 1,300 Marines left. The enemy has built up his base to level 2. This is not good. Crap. Okay, so what I need to do is start providing air cover. It's now 8 in the morning. I got four wildcats. I wish for them. Start dominating the airspace over the target area throughout the daytime. The enemy sees me, we got an enemy float plane, and we're going to launch our own float planes. We're going to scout up this channel. A 
Another enemy float plane. Bombardment group is potentially under attack by enemy submarines. Okay. Our glorious fleet. Let's make sure we ain't got any enemy torpedoes sighted anywhere. Enemy aircraft spotted. We're firing flak at the enemy ship. Or at the enemy aircraft. He's taking a lot of flak. Holy shit! Oh, pause! Enemy bombers inbound! Oh my god, four Valdod bombers inbound. This is, uh... Let's take evasive maneuvers. I want everyone to turn north. Okay, they're taking flak. Pause. I wish for you turn north immediately. Right full rudder. It's 33 knots. Your level bombing. Not good, not good, not good. Ah, oh, I took a hit. We took a bomb hit. What's her damage looking like? We have major fires all over the place, and we got major flooding. Wichita has taken a direct bomb hit amidships through engineering. Shoot those sons of bitches down. We got any more enemy airstrikes here? Got that float plane. Shit, we got zeros up here too. What the hell, man? How we doing, guys? Benson also took a hit. What the hell did the Benson take a hit on? Let's counter flood. like she took a strafing. She's got some listing going on. She's coming back up right on account of counter flooding. got a dive bomb by enemy vowels, strafed by enemy zeros. The 
USS Wichita has her flooding under control. Benson is still working on her flooding. Seconds are still opening fire on the enemy uh, float plane. The damn float plane. It's kind of cheesy, you can see the shells, but you can actually turn that off. He's taking a lot of flag. Is he not taking damage? He's got some smoke now. How are we doing here? We got fire still spreading. Son of a bitch down. He's causing me a lot of problems. There he goes. We got moderate damage. Enemy fleet sighted, two heavy cruisers. We're ready to engage. We're about to engage in a surface action. Our Wildcats are now engaged with enemy zeros. I got 84 nautical miles to fly air cover over the over this area. Lost my air cover. It's 10 in the morning. I'm currently under aerial observation again. I have no wildcats. I need it to be nightfall badly. Bombardment group is now under another air attack. It's not good. Pick up speed to 37 knots. Head north. You. Head north. You, head north. You, head north. I want the fleet to break up. Three minutes to leave. Enemy float plane found. Taking the enemy uh, float plane under fire. We're 
I'm concerned about is enemy Val dive bombers. I don't see any. Shit, I should have gotten my Kingfisher to spot for that enemy fleet. Whoa, we're under naval gunfire. That's naval gunfire back there. Holy shit, we're under naval gunfire. Where's the enemy? Where's my fucking plane? There they are. Oh, pause, pause. Enemy fleet spotted. Enemy heavy cruiser. I want this formation to form up, line ahead on the flusser. Enemy is at 28,000 yards. I wish for them to Fluster to attack. USS South Dakota. Open fire. God damn it. What the hell is going on here? Am I taking hits? Have I got enemy aircraft on me? Okay, enemy spotter plane is shot down. Tallahassee. Target him. Open fire. Warden. Target. Open fire. Flusser. Target. Open fire. Hull. Target. Open fire. Benson. Target. Open fire. It's really shitty firing solutions. Okay, we've got... It's like I'm... Maybe a Megami and a Takeo. I'm with South Dakota, what can you see? God, his shells are falling remarkably close. Let's see where he's at. Oh shit, we got enemy fighters inbound. Enemy bombers. Zero strafing. Shot down. Alright, good deal. We got another enemy flight coming in. There's the flashes of the enemy fire out there. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this engagement. I want to have my ships reformed and head in the southeast direction.
Enemy fighter spotted. Okay, we're under, our invasion fleet is under air attack. Cannot time compress. The enemy aircraft around here somewhere. There they are. We got foul dive bombers. Shit. Big problem. Here they come, boys. Level bombing. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. Woo! Missed! Holy shit, that was close. What's our damage? We got a little bit of flooding from a near miss. Thank god. Shot down two enemy valves. Damage two others. Lead is okay. We had a near miss, but she's all right. That was dang close. Aircraft lost, air contact lost. We gotta get these Marines ashore as soon as possible. There's an enemy fleet out there. I need to have it closely escorted. I need nighttime, is what I need. I need dark. Ten seconds. Minor damage, okay. So, it's 11 o'clock. Uh, how long can I enjoy air, how long before I can enjoy air cover? Okay, the Wildcats are going airborne. Float plane. Let's launch my own float plane, Wichita. He's RTB. Um, can you launch a float plane? Yes, you can. Okay, so, got a lot of action going on over here, east of Guadalcanal. 
I'll move it at a 60 times 60 interval here. Wichita is ready to launch more aircraft. We got air cover in the form of these Wildcats. Enemy fleet spotted. Let's take it to the world and see what happens. All right, look at this. So let's go ahead and start my flight float plane should be able to spot the Japanese fleet. There he is. I've got four Wildcats. They are going to fly air cover. Let's make sure these Kingfishers can keep the enemy under good observation. I wish for my fleet form up under Benson, line abreast, line ahead, and then I wish for the Benson to begin your turn negative. I wish for you to turn to the south Southwest. We got an enemy float plane. Hang on a second. Okay. Float plane is tossing fire up. Or tossing fire up the float plane. Okay, in the meantime, South Dakota. Let's pause this game. Because I wish to open fire upon the enemy. What I see is two heavy cruisers that are they're scattering their fleet. I wish for the South Dakota to target him and open fire. Wichita. Wish for you to target him. Open fire. Tallahassee. Wish for you to target enemy heavy cruiser. Open fire. Benson, target heavy cruiser, 39,000 yards, that's too far for you. I think the enemy fleet's entirely too far away for me to open fire. Although, the South Dakota is certainly going to give it a shot. Got a 32% uh, This is going to be a long battle, really long battle. So right now, the enemy is at 39,000 yards. I've got a Kingfisher keeping the enemy fleet under observation. We can see that the enemy fleet is consisting of two heavy cruisers again, two light cruisers, one of which is fairly damaged from air from a torpedo strike from the Growler, and then two enemy destroyers. So I've got a Wildcat squadron here that's going to fly top cover for my for my uh, fleet. Form up, form up, line ahead on the vents. Tell you what, these controls just drive me freaking crazy sometimes. Love this game, but damn, the controls are something else. Okay, this Wildcat Squadron, I'm 
I want you all formed up. Um, yeah, echelon right is fine. And I wish for you to patrol over the fleet. Enemy fleet is at 9,000 yards bearing down the enemy. I'm going to be crossing his T. 39,000 yards. That is well beyond visual range. Thank God I got this Kingfisher here. So. This beautiful fleet. Two destroyers of nine. USS South Dakota has got her guns way the hell up in the sky. Still doesn't have range at 39,000 yards, but we are we are ready to open fire. The enemy does not appear to have aerial observation on me. South Dakota. Enemy is closing at about uh, about 50 yards a second. Whoa! And we are opening fire on the enemy fleet. At 37,500 yards. Shots are falling off. What I want to be able to do is keep this nice distance because I'm going to keep the enemy under fire for a while. Enemy has also got his guns fully elevated, prepared to fire on me, but he's well out of range. Now we got to remember, I've got transports somewhere off this map that this fleet is clearing the way for, because my intention is by nightfall to land my troops on Lunga Point. South Dakota's getting some pretty good hits. Uh-oh, enemy is opening fire on me now. Target is two. South Dakota is firing. Wichita is still out of range. Tallahassee is probably got range. All right, all ships have their batteries trained on the enemy. We are turning to the southwest. I don't even have visual on them. They're over the horizon. Kingfisher is still keeping good observation on them. South Dakota is lobbing shells. Let's see if we can get ourselves a hit. For those of you watching, this is Led Zamplet. Um, I'm, I'm kind of new to YouTube, but I've been streaming on Facebook for quite some time. You can find me on Facebook, Led Zamplet. Got a lot more streams out there. This is the first series that I've started doing on YouTube. 
But if you have a Facebook account, you can like me at Led Sam Pullet. Whoa, look at those shells falling. That's my 16 inch shells. I do a lot of squad, rising storm, unity of command. I do flying circus, which is a VR World War One on IL-2 Sturmovic. So, uh, enemy is getting bad shot. these wildcats to come back to my formation here. Form up. Head back towards the fleet and keep providing close air cover. There are enemy Val dive bombers that are flying out of Henderson Field and I don't want them to ambush me. Right now, we don't have any Val dive bombers that are in this mix, so. Enemy shot ranging is very, very poor. These Kingfishers are spotting for me. There's a flash of the enemy guns. I could just barely see the silhouettes. Move this kingfisher over here. These kingfishers are on their way. So I'm going to have plenty of good aerial observation over the enemy. The fully real time battle, uh, we're currently closing on the enemy at a rate of currently at 32,000 yards and closing at a rate of about 30 yards per second. See the shell splashing, there's the enemy fleet. Let's have him target that vessel and identify it as, I believe it to be an AOBA class. There it is. So I've got aerial observation. what appears to be potentially a Megami class cruiser. I wish there was a way to lock on that. I believe that to be a Megami. There's one way to find out, it's to cheat and take a look at the damn thing. Not a Megami. It's not a Tone. It's Aoba. No, a Miyoko. Target Miyoka class cruiser. Identify enemy is identify this target. As a Takeo class cruiser. That should help with the spotting. We are currently crossing the enemy's T. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Enemy 
these shots still falling pretty pathetically. The cruisers are taking them under fire now. Isn't she beautiful, beautiful battle fleet. It's my bombardment group. Let's hope we can pound this enemy into the seabed, open up the way for our transports to relieve our Marines in Guadalcanal. We got three Kingfishers airborne over the target area. The Japanese fleet in sight. Magnificent view from these Kingfishers. So I've got these kingfishers that are targeting the Miyoko, and, and I'm really hoping that somehow that provides a bonus. Wildcats are still flying top cover. Enemy has been struck by a shell. Hot dog. Watching this battle unfold. Let's take a look at what the South Dakota is doing. What's your firing solution? Is at 48%? Let's do spotting shells. Let's alternate. Takeo. Wichita, I wish for you to... Okay, she's got spotting shells. Everyone's got spotting shells. Thirty-eight percent firing solution. Damn, they're getting close. Let's do a loose salvo. Okay, the enemy has put out his fire. Look at these shot spreads. What the hell are you guys firing at? close. My float planes ought to improve my spotting, which is now at 38%. Let's go ahead and get the uh, secondary guns. All secondary guns are now in action.
getting closer. Let's go back to a full spread. Let's keep these kingfishers in action. Let's keep my wildcats providing air cover. Screw it. Let's not do spotting shells, just go ahead and open fire. is now 24,000 yards. Is he firing at my, uh, what is he firing at? Yeah, he's firing at my Kingfisher. my spotting. There we go. That's a good straddle. is a 46% firing solution. Examine at that Takeo though. No time compression. We're just we're gonna let the range close down. We're at 23,000 yards. Secondary gun should be uh, Swing into action and what, at about 15,000 yards maybe? Some good shell straddles going on here. Your ammunition stocks, 504 AP, so we're still good. You can see my gunfire out there in the distance. Flash of gunfire. Counting on my battleship, doing some good here. Come on, South Southern D.
Crossing the enemy T is now. Crossing the enemy T now. Firing solution is now at 50%. South Dakota. Fishing it out. The shells are landing closer. My principal concern is if the enemy launches long lance torpedoes, which I think got a range of like 11 kilometers, something ridiculous like that. I gotta be concerned about that. Come on, boys. work on this gunnery. It's getting close. Again, my fleet is moving southwest. Enemy fleet's coming this way. We're crossing their T, currently under observation of three Kingfishers. And he's getting starting to get straddled pretty good. Imagine we'll be getting some hits. We did score one hit earlier on the on the uh, Tokayo. I get one plunging shot in there. Oh my gosh, that's close. Come on, baby. Let's land a shot. Is your target Miyoko? Miyoko? Takeo? 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 Miyoko? Miyoko? Okay. Your secondaries are in action. your secondaries. Well, at least they're aiming in the right direction, but they still don't have range. These kingfishers observing the enemy fleet. It's a lot of fire you guys are taking. We're currently at 16,000 yards, about 15 miles. Trying to hit the South Dakota. Enemy fleet sighted. We're not getting any hits while crossing this T. Okay, Benson. I wish for you. Huh. 
come about. We're going to swing back and continue crossing the enemy T and just keep our fire up. We got plenty of ammunition. Enemy has been hit again. He's smoking, he's burning. that fire. I mean, it looks good. This game just looks so beautiful. Okay, the enemy has been hit over here. He's burning as well. So, they're starting to take their licks. Our fleet is beginning to make its turn. There's the enemy fleet. We see two burning heavy cruisers. So again, if you're just joining me, I currently got three Kingfishers keeping the enemy fleet up. Under observation, we got an air cover of some wildcats. We have a fleet that's crossing the T of a Japanese force that's obstructing an invasion fleet that I've got moving up towards uh, Henderson Field to reinforce my Marines there. Um, oh shit, we got. We're taking hits. We got one fire on the, on the uh, Benson. Benson's got a fire. She's put it out. 78% integrity. We're good. Target the Miyoko. You know what? You got better opportunity to hit the Takeo. Hit the Takeo. You got 64%. You got a fire on the enemy cruiser.
call. Right, how's how are we doing here? We've got Benson is okay. The fleet is making its turn. Why is the North South Dakota not turning? Yeah, he's trying to turn. He just can't turn as well. She's making her turn now. Both Japanese heavy cruisers are burning. another fire going on. He took another shell right in the nose. We're starting to land some hits here. They look like small caliber shells that are making these hits. Full guns to bear now. We're circling back around, crossing the enemy T again. We took another hit there. Light caliber shell. of gunfire. Yeah, it ranges 11,000 yards and becoming concerned. That looks like a hit. Looks like it scored another hit. Starting to become concerned about enemy torpedo attack. Boys, pound them to the dirt. All right, so you see our fleet circling back around. Nice pattern going on. Took another hit. My secondary is opening open fire. Yeah, secondaries are currently opening fire. What about your secondaries? Firing your secondaries are also firing. charging in on me, aren't they? He's taking licks. God damn it. 
Come on, boys. I need you to score some hits. He's at 11,000 yards. He should be scoring. There we go. Good hit. He took a shot right in the midships. Both enemy cruisers are smoking. That may have been a 16-inch shell right there. Two hits. We're starting to score now, baby. He took another hit. See my fleet pretty apparent at 11 miles. Now, if I were these Japanese, I would retreat. still going hell for leather towards me. Come on boys, get some get some licks in. ships is burning. South Dakota just took a lick. She got fires forward. South Dakota is on fire. Let's take care of those fires. Nine thousand yards. Shit, took another hit. Wildcats left the engagement area. Come on, South Dakota, how are you hanging on those fires? Took another hit. God damn it, South Dakota is taking shots now. Why the hell are we not destroying these targets by now? There he goes, he's taking good fire. Fires taken care of first. The enemy's listing. He's taking his hit licks. This thing's got to be in bad shape right now. We're now at 7,000 yards. The enemy's well within torpedo range. Let's get the fleet accelerating at speed up to 27 knots. OK, 
Okay, fires are out. Well, we still got two fires left. more hits. Down by the bow a little bit. The Takeo's just getting rocked. Come on, baby. Knock her out. Finish her off. Torpedoes look like. Torpedoes, 14,000 yards. Nagara, target. Fire full spread. One, two, three, four. Torpedoes away. Fire torpedo spread. Torpedoes away. South Dakota's burning again. She's got a lot of damage. She's taking a lot of hits. My firing directors is damaged. Firing on the Miyoko enemy heavy cruiser is destroyed. Takeo is sinking. Benson's taking a hit. All right, she's got flooding forward. This heavy cruiser is in really bad shape. Okay, Benson, I wish for you to target that enemy. All fire, target, fire. Uh, Hull, I wish for you to target him. Move it from your fire director, open fire. South Dakota is firing on the Miyoko. That's good. Finish her off. Wichita. Target the Nagara. Open fire. Tallahassee. Target the Nagara. Open fire. Wharton. Target the Miyoko. Target the Miyoko until she's pounded in the ground. Enemy 
destroy enemy heavy cruiser is listing. It's like she's about to go down. Finish her off. Where's these torpedoes that I launched? There they are. I see them in the distance. They're not going to hit anything. There they are right there. for the other sunken cruiser. Okay, Yugumo has just probably squeezed off a bunch of torpedoes. Alternate director, target, Yugumo. I wish for you. get an alternate you see any torpedoes in the water Benson's got a little flooding let's turn the fleet north Benson's crews are in action. We've got a fire. Yeah, we're jacking up that destroyer. Look, he is in bad shape. But Benson's Takeo is sinking. All right, pause. The enemy fleet. It looks like they're retiring. Keep it up. Who is this? This Japanese cruiser is also damaged and retiring. Got enemy burning ships everywhere taken several hits. This guy is in bad shape. Nyoko struck by a dud torpedo. Great. It's taking several hits. Benson's flooding is repaired. Woo! Big hit. Gumo is burning all over the place. Miyoko is now sunk. No, Miyoko's still just listing. The enemy fleet is retiring. still trucking along. 
And Yoko's dead in the water. Probably sinking in a second. The Gumo's sinking. Very good. Target the enemy fleet. Change your gun director to Yoko. Open fire. Wish for you to target the Nagara. Open fire. South Dakota, wish for you. Target the Nagara, open fire. Wichita, wish for you, target Nagara, open fire. Tallahassee, target the Nagara, open fire. Warden, target the Nagara, open fire. Plusser, target the Nagara, open fire. All right, this guy's in trouble now. He's gonna be taking a lot of shells. He's still throwing it out there. Boom, took another hit. We are absolutely decimating this Japanese fleet. Despite the fact we've taken a couple licks, we, we, do, we don't have good air cover at the moment. Uh, Japanese fleets retiring. We sunk two heavy cruisers and one light, cru one uh, destroyer. Enemies at 12,000 yards. Benson got struck again. He's got flooding. float plane back over here and let's get this float plane back over here. Look at this light cruiser, he's limping back home. That's the one that the growler had struck with a torpedo. burning. Let's go ahead and start ending this engagement. Alright, so we got minor damage to the Wetchita. Benson's got heavy damage. We managed to sunk, sink uh, two heavy cruisers and one Yugumo that gained us 31 command points. So, we are getting damn close to... It's still... God, it's still noontime. I gotta, I gotta answer the na uh, call of nature. I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Okay. How are the Marines doing? We got 1,200 Marines left on Guadalcanal. I got 7,000 infantry moving in there. Enemy's got level two airfield. That is a huge concern for me. I have no way to reduce it other than to bombard the living shit out of it. And that's what my fleet aims to do. So we're going in in daylight. A wildcat's got 220 miles left on them. And I want them to always be available as air cover here. So let's move this at 60. Rennell Island's ready to launch aircraft, but she ain't got anything, but uh, she's, she's got nothing. I've got... Uh, I want to be able to send a oiler. Another oiler. I want to send another transport with one destroyer escort. I wish for my Cimarron to go ahead and load up plenty of fuel. to load engineering. Whoop. Okay. And set a course for Nell Island. I want to be able to put bombers. I want to be able to launch Dauntless dive bombers from uh, Rennell Island. Okay, we got an enemy airstrike coming in. My wildcats are too far away. Shit. Okay, wildcats are on their way back. We have enemy float plane. I want you to kick up your speed to 290 knots. I need you to get over that target area as fast as you can. We got enemy dive bombers approaching, I'm pretty sure. Send these kingfishers to see if they could shoot down this uh, float plane here. There he is. Japanese float plane. Right above me. You have machine guns on you? I'm following them, but I don't have any machine guns in front of me. Negative. I want you to get up to 290 knots. Get over there as soon as you can. I need top air cover for my for my uh, fleet. I 
as you can see, this is my uh, invasion force, my supply fleet. Whoa, pause, enemy fighters. Got Japanese Zero, got a Japanese Zero. Okay, I wish for my Wildcats. Target that Zero and engage. Shot down my kingfisher. You get the hell out of here. This kingfisher is about to get shot down. Whoa, pause, 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 pause. Enemy airstrike. Val dive bombers inbound. Wildcats move to intercept immediately. They're not going to get there in time. Shit. Come on, boys. Flak is going up. Go. They're going to level bomb. Oh, come on. Those are going to miss? No, they're going to hit that transport. Got two hits on this transport. Shit. to shoot down these Val dive bombers. Get them. Oh, there's a Japanese Zero on my tail. Shit. You two. And you form up, target that Zero, and attack. Got a hell of a dogfight going on now. Lost another Kingfisher. Japanese airplane going down. Open fire. Japanese fighter still on my tail. Look out, dude. She's smoking. We 
got another Japanese aircraft going down due to flak. How's my, how's this transport doing? She's got fires all over the place. This is not good. Look at all that flak, holy crap. I'm surprised my guys haven't gotten hit by that yet. of a dogfight going on over my fleet. <coughs> Come on guys, shoot them down. Enemy bomber, enemy fighter going down. Two more fighters left. One more fighter left. <coughs> yeah. Alright, enemy fighter going down. Okay, so I lost one transport. 12 in the afternoon, still not in a good position to be in. I got three fighters. Okay, South Dakota is ready to launch aircraft. Search up that channel. Well, cat's got 66 miles. I'm not going to have any air co any air cover. 47 miles, 29 miles. I'm about to lose my air cover. Enemy fleet spotted. Two light cruisers, one destroyer. We'll take it. We'll wipe them off the face of the earth. Where are they? Enemy fleet sighted. USS Benson, turn course south to heading 255. All ships, let's pause this, let's see what we're dealing with over here. We've got Enemy light crew, two enemy light cruisers of the Nagara class. Benson, a wish for you. 
Target enemy cruiser. Open fire. Hull. Wish for you. Target enemy cruiser. Open fire. South Dakota. Target enemy cruiser. Open fire. Secondaries. Open fire. Wichita. Target enemy cruiser. Open fire. Secondaries. Open fire. Tallahassee. Wish for you to target enemy cruiser. Open fire. And she is out of ammunition. Tallahassee is out of ammunition. What's my ammunition on the Wichita looking like? 60 rounds at AP. Not good. I still have plenty of rounds, but the Tallahassee may have to... Uh... Tallahassee does have plenty... She doesn't have that many shells left over on her uh, secondaries. Warden, target, enemy fleet. Got nothing but HE shells left. Shit. My fleet is very low on ammunition. Okay, my fleet is turning. Enemy fleet somewhere out here. Enemy range, 20,000 yards. have to exit this battle. I don't have the ammunition. Things are getting desperate. They exit out of the battle. Enemy fleets operating in this area. I'm not terribly concerned about it. Enemy float planes. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Fleet sighted to the north. Um, let's leave that be. Uh, they're gonna make me fight this engagement out. I ain't got the ammunition for it, so let's leave in three minutes. I want to ignore that enemy fleet that's currently retiring. South Dakota could probably squeeze a few shots on them. That's fine. Let's retreat. I don't want to engage this enemy right now. I want to land my infantry and get the hell out of here. A minute and a half. enemy is turning away from me. They don't want to tangle with me. The 
of two light cruisers and an enemy destroyer left over from that naval squadron. Contact enemy aircraft. Another float plane. See if you guys can shoot this thing down. Sucker down. You know, we can go ahead and leave, but uh, I want to see as he makes a pass over, we can knock him down. Damn float planes are hard. There he goes. He's shot down. Whatever you do, please don't crash into my battleship. Oh shit! Ugh. Okay, that was close. I had the Enterprise actually hit by a shot down airplane and damaged its rudder. It was pretty, pretty incredible. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Enemy aircraft inbound. Okay, you see my fleet is currently hugging the coast. Got enemy fighters inbound. Possible bombers. Sight of the enemy fleet still operating east of Tulagi. And the enemy is turning north to disengage. My primary concern, though, is these enemy uh, dive bombers that I expect to be uh, in action here shortly. The enemy has taken such heavy losses. I mean, I've sunk almost seven or eight heavy cruisers in the enemy fleet. But again, my primary concern is air power. This game, winning this is going to be all about air power. I am not in the battleship game. Although the South Dakota has done some admirable work, her hull integrity is all on the spot. She's good. Okay, here they come. Pause. Okay, they're just enemy zeros. I can handle zeros. like they're about to make an attack run on the witch top. <coughs> there they are. Come on, knock them out of the air, boys. Knock one down.
strafing one of my destroyers. Alright, she's taking some hits. Not too bad though. Leaf taking minor damage to Tallahassee after a good strafe. We're about ready to bombard the hell out of Guadalcanal. It is currently 3.23 in the afternoon. Kingfisher is about to get shot down. We're getting so close to bombarding Henderson Field. Japanese aircraft over to Lagi. Whoa, pause. Enemy aircraft. We got more zeros. That's fine. Let's shoot them down. They're going to try and strafe the uh, South Dakota. See how that well works out. shot down. South Dakota's got superficial damage. Shot down another Japanese fighter. seconds. <coughs> okay, that's ineffectual air attacks. I'm okay with that. Thirty minutes from bombarding Henderson Field. It is now 4 p.m. We will arrive in four hours. We'll arrive at 9 o'clock. My Marines are down to 1,248 men, deeply outnumbered. Pause this, we need to launch another aircraft. We got another Kingfisher. Let's take a look at what's going on up the channel. Enemy aircraft sighted. What are these? Can we go ahead and launch a bombardment? 
There we go. Bomb the hell out of them. All right. Go ahead and withdraw. I have no ammunition to cover the landing. I bombarded Henderson Field. That should suppress enemy air power. Hell, it reduced enemy air power to zero. All right, good job, men. We have shelled the hell out of Henderson Field. Let's go ahead and resolve this air combat. All right, so my fleet is retiring after bombarding Henderson Field. Enemy aircraft spotted. And we've got enemy zeros. So I'm not concerned about zeros. Fisher still hanging over to Loggy. We'll leave in about a minute and 60 seconds. I want to end the stream after I've landed my Marines on Guadalcanal. We bombarded the hell out of the airfield and knocked it down to nothing. Just knocked it down to smithereens. There's my Kingfisher. Uh, let's see if we can use my Kingfisher to draw the enemy over my anti-aircraft guns. The enemy does have me under air observation. Ninety-nine seconds. If you guys are just joining me, I appreciate you watching. This is Led Zamplet. Uh, this is the uh, first of a series I'm doing on YouTube. As I've said before, I do a lot of Facebook game streaming. Hold on, hold on, hold the fuck up. Are you about to smash into the goddamn coast? All halt. Stop. All stop. All stop. All stop. You're about to run into the goddamn lift full rudder. That is shallow water, boys. Left full rudder, please. Depth under keel is about 70 feet. Leaving in 45 seconds. Waiting. I'm just going to look for that other the Japanese light cruisers that I believe are retiring to the north. Through this channel here. Eight seconds. Okay. My battle squadron uh, bombardment group is retiring. 
It is now 4.18 p.m. in the afternoon. We got four hours of daylight. I will be there in four hours, so we're landing at dusk. So let's go ahead and accelerate. Enemy air power has been eliminated at Henderson Field through a major bombardment. And we're about to land our Marines. Enemy fleet sighted. There's the two light cruisers, one destroyer. They are retiring. They've retired up this channel. Let's go ahead and engage them on... It's getting dusk, so... All right, enemy fleet spotted. Let's go ahead and retreat. We see where they're going. I'm, I'm fine with that. Run them off so I can land my infantry. Okay. We're here. We are fucking here. 1,200 men left over fighting at Henderson Field. I wish for you boys to unload, go ahead and bombard, or go ahead and unload everything. 5,408, 5,000, 5,000 infantry. Who's holding my supplies? Okay, everything is empty. Relief forces landed at Guadalcanal. And we barely scratched the dirt. The Japanese have a lot of infantry on that damn island. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> we got 5,500 men fighting on that island. What are everyone else is doing here? Okay. Go ahead and, let's see, let's go ahead and bombard. Relief Force is retiring back to New Hebrides. It is now 8 o'clock in the evening. We are retiring. Okay, unloaded all cargo of Rennell Island. Got Japanese float plane, ignore him. Return to base. What I want to do is, okay, we got more transports. The Japanese are just feeding. Oh, shit. 
three merchants, three other, three oilers, one heavy cruiser, two destroyers. They are about to. Damn it! How close are we to torpedoing these mothers? Up the scope. Right full rudder. I'm gonna make this torpedo run and then I gotta end the stream. I've got I've got some errands I gotta run. I really appreciate you guys watching. We'll be carrying on again maybe later this evening. <clears throat> Wish for you to target these enemy transports. Work up a torpedo solution. Three as a spread. Let's get our torpedo solution up. Nippon Maru. Fire. Target Nippon Maru number six. Prepare to fire a spread of three torpedoes. If we can hit these oilers, the enemy won't be able to build up its base to level two again. Solution at 70%. Target identified as another Nippon Maru. Firing solution is at 90%. Prepare to open fire. Open main tubes four through six. Tubes open, fire. That's a nice detail. They, they come out of separate tubes. All right, down scope, dive, right full rudder. Torpedoes are probably going to fall behind. Shit. Enemy is moving at 13 knots. At 3,000 yards. Please don't be a dud. I'd love to blow up an oil tanker right now. Center rudder. Come on, baby. Come on. Shit. That's gonna go behind. Son of a bitch! Ah! 
What about you? Are you going to hit him? Nope. We're going to miss everybody. What about you? Are you going to hit him? He might get a hit. Nope. Passed right under him. Passed... What the fuck? That's a bunch of horse shit. God. All right, we may hit this guy then. Here we go. Hit him. Dud. Fucking dud. Ah, oh, Grunion's torpedo strike is meaningless. Ninety percent solution, and I still miss these goddamn ships. Torpedo missed. May hit this son of a bitch. Who knows? Japanese aren't reacting to me actually nailing one of their ships with a dud torpedo. Come on, baby. Give me a torpedo strike. There we go. Got one torpedo hit. Enemy fleet is turning. What, they just now notice some, they're under a torpedo attack? Alright, let's leave. Anyone's got moderate damage. Okay, we got them again. Left full rudder. Revolutions for three knots. Rudders amidships. Got a Nippon Maru. you to hit that destroyer is what I want you to hit. Matsuki. Good. Fire a full spread. Three torpedoes at six degree spread. Fire. Periscope down, dive, left full rudder. So Grunion's making another torpedo attack. This time I'm launching a nice wide spread. And uh, hopefully it will net something. Torpedoes are inbound. The heavy cruiser here. Hell, I should have squeezed my torpedoes off on this heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser of the... Of 
the Tonite class. No, it's actually you. You're the Tonite. You're a Matsuki. And a Kaze. these torpedoes. Here they come. Naturally, they're going to fall behind, but uh, I'm hoping to nail someone else behind them. Center rudder. Just missed him. Fucking shit. Excuse my language, but I'm really frustrated with the performance of my uh, submarines. The Grunion is uh, come on. If we can hit this oiler, I'll be a happy man. We should take two fish here. Boom. Two hits. Barely missed that other one. Okay, that's alright. I could deal with two hits on this oiler. And we can leave. And we scuttled it. 10,000 tons. Good deal. can make one more torpedo strike and then I've got to end this stream. I've got some other things I gotta take care of. But... Okay, right full rudder, up scope. The enemy has spotted me. They're making they're turning away. So let's go ahead and leave. Down scope. Dive. I'm accelerating this. I'll take any acceleration I can get in this game, but right now they're moving to prosecute me. Three knots. All right, good, good, good. Okay, I've got to end the stream, everyone. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. We're going to be carrying on with uh, this game here, hopefully this evening, and I appreciate you joining me. Uh, again, this is Led Zample It. Um, join me on Facebook. Join me on YouTube. I'd love for you to follow me. We do a lot of games like this, and uh, we'll be talking with you soon. Thank you.